Good morning, folks. Bubba back with you today. And uh, as we walk across this field, I apologize for being back with you for a while. Hadn't done a wild edible video for you in a while. Been planning on doing this and uh, just ain't got around to it, but I'm back now. And what I like today with you today is point out a wild animal. Now, this is the latter part of, uh, well, about the middle part of uh, uh, October. Usually, most places here in Georgia, this stuff shows up around September. Last in November, down in South Georgia, and they grow bigger and everything. But what I would like to tell you is some stuff that me and my family, we don't usually have much to do with it and such. But it's this beautiful plant here. A lot of farmers like to grow it in the field. And what it is, is known as goldenrod. Very beautiful flower. And uh, Native Americans used to use this in many different stuff. Uh, when it gets taller, it can grow up, and certain species can grow up to be like uh, six foot, seven foot. I've seen it that high down in South Georgia in the Savannah and Brunswick area. And this beautiful plant has many purposes. Uh, for the most part, it is both a uh, wild edible and a medicinal. Uh, it is a uh, plant, and a lot of people like to get this mixed up with uh, ragweed and people blame their allergies on this plant and if anybody knows what ragweed is they look similar but this plant right here is the cure for ragweed that's right folks any kind of hay fever or anything like this this is the plant you want to use you see this plant has many many different uses and you see, uh, like I said, the Native Americans here in Georgia, the Creek Indians, the Cherokee Indian, the Appalachian Indians, all the different tribes that were here in Georgia, uh, used to use this plant. And you see how its leaves are right here? Its leaves. These leaves can be dried. And uh, this... Uh, plant is good for urinary tract, digestive tract, and respiratory systems. And these leaves are good. These little small leaves, they get bigger as the plant gets bigger. And these uh, leaves can be taken and made into a tea. I have heard of any other people even taking them, drying them, and smoking them. Uh, as medicinal purposes, uh, Goldenrod has been known to reduce pain and swelling. It can stop muscle spasm and is good for joint pain such as arthritis and gout. Uh, it has also been known to be good for diabetes, uh, enlargement of liver, again, like I said, hay fever, also asthma, and also the enlarged prostates. And you see, I don't know particular what type of goldenrod this is, but as you can tell, you got a lot of it out here. And this is just free food, folks. Free food. All around out here. And it grows wild in Georgia. Folks, our stores are closing down. Do you know how to gather wild edibles? This is something that's free to me and my family that we can gather.